Hello students, we have completed the chapter equilibrium. Now we are going to do the numericals of this chapter. Different types of numericals we will be doing today. Okay, the first chapter, uh, the first question which I have taken is what? Kc is equal to 6.3 into 10 to the power 14 at 1000 Kelvin. Okay, so Kc value of Kc is given at 1000 Kelvin. Then an equation has been given to you. NO plus O3, both are in the gaseous state. Okay, equilibrium sign getting NO2 plus O2, okay. The question it is asking, what is the Kc for the reverse reaction, okay. So Kc of this uh, forward reaction, it, it is given to you, okay, and that the reaction will be written as NO plus O3 in the equilibrium sign NO2 plus O2, okay, which is given in the question is itself, okay. Now it is saying, what is the Kc for the reverse reaction, just reverse the reaction now, okay. What will happen? It is moving in the reverse direction. So now NO2 plus O2 is forming what? NO plus O3. Okay. And one thing you should remind that yes. Remember that all are in the gaseous form. So this is an example of what? The homogeneous equilibrium. Isn't it? A homogeneous equilibrium. Okay. Here now you have to find what now the Kc in the reverse reaction which can be represented as K dash okay so what will be the k dash i have said to you if the reaction is in the reverse form it will be the reciprocal of what kc okay and yes i also said that yes if you are multiplying it with n then what it will be k C to the power what? N. Okay. So now, this just to make you remember I have said to you. But in the numerical, it is only asking about the Kc in the reverse reaction. Okay. So Kc in the reverse reaction will be what? The reciprocal of this Kc which is in the forward direction which is going on. Okay. So now here, you have to find... The value of this k dash that is what the kc in the reverse direction. What it will be? Now put it in the value 1 upon how much it will be? What is the value of kc? 6.3 into 10 to the power 40. Okay. Just solve it beta. Just solve this. You will get the value of kc in the reverse reaction or in the reverse direction when the reaction is taking place okay so let us move on to the second question okay here temperature is given 450 kelvin kb value is given 2 into 10 to the power 10 okay reaction is given 2 so2 plus o2 equilibrium sign 2 so3 is formed okay you have to take out equilibrium constant at this temperature where the value of r is given 0 0.0831 liter bar Per Kelvin per mole. Okay. This is your question. You have to take out Kc. I said to you when the particulars. See the particulars in the question which has been given. You have been given temperature. You have been given Kp. You have been given the number of moles. Okay. And now R is also given to you. You have to take out Kc. Which formula will you apply? You will take out the relation between Kp and Kc na. So that formula you will apply. So Kp is equal to Kc RT to the power change in number of moles. Hmm? Now just do it step by step. Kp is equal to Kc RT change in number of moles will be how much? It is the number of moles, sum of the number of moles in product side minus the sum of the moles in the reactant side. So now in the sum of the moles in the product side is how much? 2. Isn't it? And sum of the moles in reactant side is how much? 2 plus 1. That is 3. Okay. So how much value you will get? Minus 1. Isn't it? So you got minus 1. So now what you will do? Kp is equal to Kc, okay, 1 upon Rt. 
from there did you get one? One. Here the change in number of moles which you have got. Okay. Now. Now how you will be moving forward? Now what will happen? Kp into Rt is equal to what? Kc. Isn't it? So now putting the value. The value of Kp is 2 into 10 to the power 10 into Okay, here into our value is 0 0.0831 liter per Kelvin inverse 1 mole inverse 1 into temperature that is 450 Kelvin. That is equal to what? Kc. Just find the value of this. You will get the value of Kc. Okay. Now coming to question number 3. Okay. Here a vessel has been given which has the capacity of 20 liters. Okay. And here the number of moles of N2 is 1.57 moles. H2 is 1.92 moles. NH3 is 8.13 moles. Okay. And here the value of Kc in this reaction is 1.7 into 10 to the power 2. Temperature is given that is 500 Kelvin and the reaction is what? N2 plus 3H2 equilibrium sign 2NH3. Okay. Now here in this reaction mixture you have to find whether this reaction mixture is in equilibrium position or the reaction is in forward direction or in the backward direction. Okay. So how you will be doing it? Here we are seeing the reaction at any point and when we are seeing the reaction at any point we will be taking what? QC. Isn't it? So I said to you at any point when we are seeing then it is QC and when KC is written it is in equilibrium position. Okay. So now we are get taking out at any point so it is what? QC. So QC is equal to what? 2NH3. It is given, isn't it? So 2NH3 it is given. So what you will be writing? Upon what? N2. Okay. And H2 to the power what? 3. Okay. So if you have written this, solve it. Okay. You have to solve this. So here, after solving, okay, you will get what the value of 2.3 into 10 to the power 3. Okay. So when you are getting the value of 2.3 into 10 to the power 3, just compare it the value with the value of Kc. Is it equal to the value of Kc, the value of Qc? Qc you are getting how much after calculation you will be getting? 2.3 into 10 to the power 3. Okay. So is this value equal to the value of Kc that is 1.7 into 10 to the power 2 and here Qc you are getting 2.3 into 10 to the power 3. The value of Qc is not equal to Kc. If it would have been equal to Kc, it would have been in the equilibrium position. But now, here the value of Qc is greater than Kc. You can see here Qc is greater than Kc. Okay. And if Qc is greater than Kc, it means the reaction is in the backward position. Because here the formation of the product is more. Okay. Now coming to the next question. Okay. The ionization constant of HF, HF has been given. HCOH has been given. HCN has been given. Okay. And you have to take out the ionization constant of the conjugate basis. As soon as you see this word ionization constant, which formula comes to your brain? That is what? Ka into Kb is equal to Kw. Okay, this is the formula. You know, what do you know? That Ka into Kb is equal to Kw. What is the value of Kw? 1 into 10 to the power, how much? Minus 14. 
What is the value of um, in if it is in case of water? What is the value of K A? It is one into ten to the power minus seven. What is the value of K B? One into ten to the power minus seven, isn't it? Now here you have been asked what the ionization constant of bases. Take the acid. This water H F is what uh, acid, isn't it? Now what will happen? It will form what? H plus plus F minus ions, which is acidic, uh, which is a, a conjugate base over here. This chlorine, isn't it? So now, here, how will you be doing this? In this, you have to take out what KB, isn't it? So KB is equal to what KW upon KA, isn't it? Now put it in this, okay? So KB is equal to how much? KW value is one into ten to the power minus fourteen. And what is the value of KA? It has been given in the question itself, isn't it? It is six point eight into ten to the power minus four. Okay? Solve it. You will get the value of KB. Okay? Like that. Come to this. HCOH, okay, formic acid. Here also, just first write down the reaction. Okay, so it will be ionized to H plus ions plus HCOO minus ions. Okay, which is the conjugate base over here? HCOO minus, isn't it? So KB again is equal to what? Kw. What is the value of Kw? One into ten to the power minus fourteen upon what? Ka value. What is the Ka value given over here? It is one point eight into ten to the power minus four. Isn't it? Solve it. You get the answer. Likewise, come to HCl. Write the reaction again. Okay. It will ionize to form what? H plus ions. Plus Cn minus ions. What is the conjugate base? Cn minus ions, isn't it? Again, put it in the formula. So Kb is equal to what? Ionization constant of the base is equal to what? One into ten to the power minus fourteen. That is what the Kw upon what? Ka value. That is what four point eight into ten to the power minus nine. Solve it and get the answer. Okay, understood. Now coming to the next question, ionization constant value of dimethyl amine is how much? Five point four into ten to the power minus four. Okay, you have been given the concentration of this dimethyl amine that is zero point zero two m solution. Okay, and you have to take out the degree of dissociation. So degree of the dissociation when it comes, what is its formula? In the root. This dimethyl amine is a base, so it becomes what Kb upon C. Okay. Now here, keep the values. What is the value of Kb over here? Five point four into ten to the power minus four, isn't it? What is the value of the concentration? It is zero point zero two m. Okay. Just solve this. You will get the degree of dissociation. Okay, now coming to the second part of the question, what percentage of dimethyl amine is ionized in the solution as also what 0.1 m NaOH? Okay, for this what you have to do? You have to first write the reaction. Come on, let us write the reaction. CH3 whole twice NH. Okay, plus H2O. Equilibrium sign. You will be getting CH3. Whole twice N H two plus plus O H minus. Okay, so when we are seeing the initial concentration of the reactants and products, initial concentration of the reactants is how much? Zero point zero two M. But the products has not been formed, so the concentration remains what? Zero and zero. But in equilibrium position, what happened? The concentration in the product side here it becomes what? X. Here also it becomes X, but remember you are adding what 0.1 m of NaOH. It is an addition. 
Okay, so here what will happen? This OH ions also will be formed from what? An AOH. So here the concentration now becomes warmer. The um, it becomes L X plus how much? Zero point one M. Okay, this remains X only. Okay, and how much it will be over here? Zero point zero two M minus X, isn't it? At equilibrium position. Okay, now you have to find the value of what x. Okay, so how you will be finding the value of x here? What has been given? The ionization constant has been given. That is the value is Kb value is given over here, isn't it? So here, if Kb value is given, so it will be how much? Five point four into ten to the power minus four is equal to how much? X, X plus zero point one, isn't it? Upon how much? Zero point zero two in uh, minus X. Okay. So just now solve the values. You will get the value of X. Okay. And in order to take out in percentage, you will multiply it with hundred. Okay. Now you have to find next question. Okay, you have to find the minimum volume of water required to dissolve one gram of calcium sulfate at 298 Kelvin. Given K solubility product constant value is given, that is 19.1 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay, so you have to form, find the minimum volume of water required to dissolve one gram. Okay, so let us start the numerical. Write the reaction first. Okay, copper sulfate will ionize to Ca2 plus plus SO4 minus. Okay, now what you have to do is see whether how much it is. No coefficients are here, so isn't it? Nothing, no power raised to anything. So here it becomes what the solubility, solubility becomes S, and here also the solubility becomes S. So Ksp here is equal to what? S square, isn't it? And now. If we want to take out the solubility, that becomes what? In the root Ksp. Okay. So when it becomes in the root Ksp, now come on, take keep the value in that. So what is the value of Ksp given to us? That is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 6. If you take out the value beta, you will be getting 0 0.411 gram per liter. Okay. Now. Here, 0 0.411 gram per liter is dissolved in how much? 1 liter, isn't it? So, by unitary method, if we want to see for 1 gram, so 1 gram will be dissolving in how much? It will become 1 upon 0 0.411, isn't it? So, here... This much will be the volume, okay, liter. You will write this also. This much will be the volume in which 1 gram of CaSO4 will be dissolved. This much volume of water is required to dissolve 1 gram of copper sulfate. So, this is all for today. Hope you might have understood it. Good day. Take care.